How is it that the size of an animal or one of its organs is controlled? Why is it, for example, that we grow to be so much larger uh, than a mouse? The answer is that we haven't really a clue why we grow to be larger than a mouse and the reason for that is largely that this has not this problem has not captured the imagination of developmental biologists the way some other aspects of development have and so size control has been relatively neglected and we don't understand much about it but what we do understand is that the size of an animal or one of its organs depends on two things the total cell mass which in turn depends on cell size and cell number and the extracellular materials largely proteins in the form of extracellular matrix uh, that can be cuticle or it can be a shell or it can be bones and so on in the case of mammals it's largely cell numbers that matter most so we are about 3,000 times larger than a mouse and we have about 3,000 times more cells than a mouse. So it's largely cell numbers uh, that one needs to be concerned about in size control in a mammal. And cell number in turn depends on two processes. One is cell division or cell proliferation and the other is cell death and both of these contribute uh, to determining the size of an animal or one of its organs. Now, in thinking about the control of size of an organ, there's two kinds of processes. There are those that operate intrinsically in the organ to help determine its size. And then there's the systemic controls, endocrine controls, for example, uh, that help control size. And Don Medcalf, working in Australia in the 1960s, uh, did a series of very interesting experiments that gives you some sense of internal versus extrinsic uh, control. In the first set of experiments, he took the thymus glands from newborn mice and put multiple thymus glands into a newborn mouse under the skin, under the kidney capsule, let the mouse grow up, and then took the thymuses out and asked what size they had grown into. And the result was clear cut. They grew to be the size of a normal thymus. It didn't matter how many thymuses were growing in the mouse, each one grew to be its normal size. So it seems that the thymus knew how big it should grow to and did it independently of what was going on uh, elsewhere in the animal. On the other hand, when Metcalf looked at the spleen, he got the opposite result. When he put multiple spleens into a newborn uh, mouse and let the mouse grow up and then take the spleens out and measured their mass, the total mass of all those spleens equaled the mass of a normal spleen in a normal mouse. It looks as if the control was largely outside uh, the spleen. And for most organs, it's a combination of intrinsic control and systemic control or out extrinsic control. The systemic controls on growth that are best understood are those that operate in the growth hormone, uh, insulin-like growth factor 1, IGF-1 pathway. And the way the pathway works is the hypothalamus produces uh, growth hormone stimulating or releasing hormone. That acts on the anterior pituitary causing it to secrete growth hormone into the blood. The growth hormone then stimulates the liver and other cells and other tissues to produce insulin-like growth factor 1, IGF-1, which in turn induces cells to grow, promotes their survival, and in that way promotes the growth of tissues, organs, uh, and the animal. And in mammals, such as a mouse or us, this system accounts for about two-thirds of our growth. If you inactivate growth hormone or IGF-1 of the receptors, uh, then a mouse will grow to about one-third the normal size. And this system accounts largely for variations in size within a species. But it's really not that problem that interests me. It's why are we so much larger than a mouse? And no matter how much growth hormone you give a mouse or how much IGF-1 you give a mouse, you can increase its size perhaps to double its size, but you can't even make it the size of a rat, let alone the size of a human. So we still don't have any idea why we grow to be so much larger uh, than a mouse.